as well. So this is the jaw bike support from the wall mounted by crack from Iplock. This is very easy to use as you can see and very easy to install on your wall. Sorry for my uh, bad view uh, behind me but we had a little uh, water sliding inside so we're waiting for the uh, for the for the guys to come and fix it. However, um, so how is composed this bike? Um, this bike rack is composed by the the two uh, wheel holders, which are this one, and then these uh, two push in uh, adjuster. And this is what makes the uh, this one make the holder slide inside and outside to record your the wheel of your bike. So we take these two things out, we take with the help of a little pencil or a pen or whatever the, um, the adjuster taps out and then we have this. So after this we move to the wall I will show you. So to, to get the measurement of your bike on the wall is pretty easy. If you make with two people of you, it's better. You take your bike up with the wheel. So meanwhile, we take the bike up with the wheel you, with another if, if you have another person it's okay otherwise if you are by yourself sorry if you are by yourself you go near the bike and you put a sign mark a mark where the wheel is then for the right measurement you take if you want your bike on the in the standing position you take your scale We take the measurement from the bottom to the axle, so it's 148 meters to me for my commensal. So we remember we have the sign over there already. So we take the measurement from the bottom to 148, as we said. So here is our sign and here is the sign for our wheel. So then we take the, this part, we put a 148 at the middle and then we sign with a pencil on the wall for pores which are enough. If you want you can go and screw directly with a screwdriver and a small uh, and, a, and a smaller one and you take your sides. So let's let's do some holes in the wall. So as far as the uh, the, wall, the wall part is on, we put the the tabs back in. Take back the two wheel holders. As the bike is in place even without a Z, a Z lock, uh, a Z lock, but we, for any inconvenience, we take one of them as we have together with the jaw, we put our bike in 
and we see if the wheel holders, uh, wheel holders are in the right place. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, wide, so we take one of the holder a little bit thin, tighter, and then we put our bike in again. As you can see, it stays as you stays up. We take our nice the lock holder as well, and we close it. Not on the spot. Okay. And je soon fait. This is our third bike for today. Up and running. Now I'm going to put the fourth. So after all, this is uh, how it came out, four bikes, all with the hip lock jaw rack. If you want to buy that on, the, on their website, don't forget the code MARCO15 at checkout. And cheers for watching the video. Bye bye.